Hey everyone, Dirty Diode here, and today I want to do a quick tutorial on how to do a fast alignment in your A10C Warthog in DCS. Now, for those of you who do cold startups, uh, you know that you have to do an alignment, and it takes a while. And as you start getting better with cold starts, you get to the point where you actually get done with the cold start before you are finished aligning. Um, if you're itching to get up in the airplane and or up in the sky in your airplane, it starts to get a little annoying as you're just sitting there kind of waiting for the alignment to get done. And so there is a way to do it quicker, and uh, that's what I will show you. But if you're unfamiliar with doing the cold start, uh, or you always do a warm start and you want to uh, learn how to do a cold start, uh, go ahead. I've got a video up in the corner here. Uh, it's a good tutorial for uh, how to start up you know, the A10 Warthog and get flying. Uh, check it out. Let me know uh, how you like it. But as far as a uh, fast alignment go, let's go ahead, hop in, and uh, let's see how it works. So uh, first things first, let's go ahead and start the battery power. So click up on the switch there, and then we're going to start our APU over here. Once we get to 100% on our APU, uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, turn on the gin and uh, the inverter as well. So uh, I'm going to wait a second to get it up there. Uh, so one thing to note, once we start our uh, CDU here, we're going to have a couple things happen pretty quick. And so you have to catch this at the right time. If you miss it, you're going to be in for the long haul with the full uh, alignment. So uh, here we are, 100%. Uh, we're going to go ahead and start the APU power gen and the inverter. And now we're going to start the CDU and the EGI. So now this is when the time starts. Um, as this starts up here, uh, you are going to have to do uh, one more thing if you want to get your um, your EAC to turn on and stay on, which is the whole goal of the alignment. Uh, when I say one more thing, I mean a couple more things. you got to turn your IFCC on, and then the yaw SASs, and the pitch SASs. So let's come back to the CDU here. As the CPU, CDU starts up, uh, it's going to go through its uh, self-check uh, screen here. and once the screen goes away, we're going to start uh, clicking some buttons, and we got to do it fairly quickly so that we catch it in time. Uh, I am going to speed up just a hair. So now we've got uh, INS. Go ahead and click that, and then come over here and click Alternate Align, and then Fast. That's all you got to do. At this point, we're going to start waiting for the alternate, alternate alignment to take effect. Um, I believe it takes about 1.4 minutes. Uh, this number on the left is in decimal. Uh, as you know, if you do this, uh, regular alignment, it takes, uh, I think, up to four, four plus minutes. I can't remember off the top of my head, but um, this is significantly quicker. Now, in the real life, I believe that you don't quite get the uh, precision doing the fast alignment as you would if you do the full alignment. And as we, uh, as this init and the uh, attitude or whatever this thing is goes away and we start seeing the number, uh, that number, I believe, is a representation of how precise your um, INS is. Now, I could be wrong, so <laughs> feel free to call me out uh, in the comments. But uh, this number is not as small as the number you'd get if you do a regular alignment. So, uh, yeah, real life looks like it makes a difference. Now, in DCS, however, everything I've looked at, everything I've researched, it appears that is not the case. I would like I would like to, at some point in the future, do a quick video uh, testing that, but uh, for now, I'm just going to go on faith and believe that we are as good as we would be if we do a normal alignment. So, uh, 1.4 is going to be where we're going here, and once that hits, a little dot or whatever that is next to the nav uh, lights up. Go ahead and click that and we are officially fast aligned. So now if you want to get your EAC on so you can do all the Warthog type stuff that you want to do, uh, you gotta click EGI. And then like I said with the SAS switches on and your IFFCC on, you should be able to just click up on the EAC and it will stay on. So there you have it. That's how you do a fast alignment. Pretty easy. Like I said though, you just gotta catch the CDU before it gets too far, otherwise you're stuck. So thank you very much. I appreciate uh, all the views. And uh, if you like what you see, let me know in the comments. And if you want to see something different or something specific, uh, let me know that as well. So in any case, have a good day and thanks for watching.